Okay, we're gonna call Ludwig and do the AMA, which is great. You get your Ludwig content back. Whoa, Ludwig. Hey, what's up? Welcome, caller, to the radio show. Now, let's get to know Ludwig Ogren. Can you uh, throw on I Can't Tell and do the intro? About to show you how anyone can do this. Boys! Today, we are going to be doing an AMA with Ludwig Anders while he's in the car. All you got to do is sync up your drop to the music. That's all you got to do. And make sure the music's good. It all does all of the work. work. Shut up. It does all of the work for you. Doing... Wait, what'd you say? Your words are always about doing a speech and never the speech. <laughs> yeah. That's every time you do Ludwig, you just say, all you got to do is sync up. <laughs> And have an emotion, and you got to do the thing. You can't just talk about doing it. Ah, let's do the AMA. All right. Uh, the first one. This is the most upvoted one. Oh, heads or tails? Oh, heads. You are correct. It is heads. Well done. Are you still planning to quit streaming after five years? <laughs> that the timeline was just made to set a hard stop. Because at some point it's. You know, I want to go out on my own terms. Five years was arbitrary. But I think after five years, I'll reevaluate, surely. Okay, you wanted to go out on my own terms, but suddenly I find myself absolutely in love with the okay, uh, ridiculous well, amount of money that I make for literally I sleeping. And I, I have honestly, realized that I have exploited it's not even about the money for me, and say. beaten the game Just in, it for the fans. in a way that is unprecedented. I love my viewers. I love my, I love my viewers. I, I love am God. Translated by Slime. All right, next question. Next question. How long do you plan on living with the guys? This is a great question. Think until I'm ready to have a kid or they all leave. Whichever comes first. Follow-up question. Why does a kid mean that I have to go? Uh, well, you know, 250 feet. It's a law. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Slime will uh, remain as our butler and uh -huh. raise the child as his own when I am absent. I'll be like a, be like a father that leaves to do IRL stream. Yeah. Weeks and the kid won't see me and you'll take you'll raise him. Okay. What's the story behind naming your clothing brand Mogul Moves? Wow. Brings me back, huh? <laughs> and there's a certain goth friend of ours that is going to be listening very yeah, intently at this uh, at this answer. Uh I was by myself alone, nobody around, <laughs> with a hundred dollars in my bank account. When I decided to go hang out with my friends. And we were playing a game of Mario Party. And at a certain point, one of my friends, Slime, turns to me and asked me if I wanted to make a bet on the minigame. And I said, hell yeah. And he said, a hundred bucks. And I knew damn well that if I did this, I'd have zero in my bank account. And in Ludwig fashion, I lost. But without hesitating, I said, let's go again. Double or nothing. Knowing full well, I could not pay Slime out until I got my paycheck from Snapchat a couple weeks later. I ended up winning that minigame. In, in exclamation, I yelled, Mogul Moves. And it was born. Let me finish typing this up, and then I'll, uh, I'll add some color to that, that beautiful story. What I want you guys to chat to know is I went from rags to riches. I grew up in a middle-class neighborhood, <laughs> in one of the richest towns in New Hampshire, Tlumming. Had my college paid for only partly. Had to work a nine to noon job every other day. You know how hard that is? Now look at me. Taller, stronger, and richer than ever. Okay. I uh, got your answer down. I wrote it as you said it. Um, but what I'm going to do is just explain uh, what really happened. So that, that story is true, by the way. However, Ludwig got mogul moves from our friend Dawson. No, that's not true. This is actually, I disagree with this vehemently, very okay. genuinely. Okay, where did it come from then? Like a lot of different times, there's been a lot of different catchphrases. <laughs> Whether it's Lil Pump's 
my bitch love do cocaine Whoop. or Nick Yingling's Big Dammy. Mm -hmm. And at some point around when I first met Atrioc and Stance, I was saying mogul moves a lot. And it really picked up. Ludwig, you cut out. Ludwig! Ludwig? Ludwig! Are you back? Yeah, I can hear you. So you you just uh you cut out when you were talking about how you just met the boomers, Atrioc and Stands. I met the boomers, Atrioc and Stands, I was saying it a lot, but it really picked off right around Evo twenty eighteen, which I think was a few months after I'd met them. Okay. When I did Starver Spendy, the salty speed. And then that's when it like mogul moves was a real thing because I was living the phrase. Yeah, know? yeah. Okay, and I'll I'll accept that. I think history is written by the victors. We can talk about origin all day, but at the end of the day, it doesn't matter if Jordan came up with a jumper, but he's the one who you think of when you think of the Jordan jumper. Great, great answer. Let's move on. Hey, Lud, long-time viewer, and I was wondering how big is it? Like, actually, what's the size? What are you packing? I was gonna buy a cars. I was gonna buy a cars bed, so I was wondering, considering this, we're the same height. Oh, okay, uh, okay, <laughs> all right. Oh, um, uh, cars bed, like a normal twin size bed. You know, maybe like ten, not even right. Like maybe seven, seven feet tall. Seven feet yeah, long, say, maybe. Yeah. I would say, I would say a solid seven long minimum okay maybe eight on a good day also very wide it fits three okay easily was able to withstand three men all right perfect have you been tuning into the stream we've been having fun i've been doing a i did like a two-hour call with my roommate from college huh seems kind of selfish uh let's find another question do slash did the short jokes ever legitimately annoy you? Uh, no. No, 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 it's fine. What's the number one item on your bucket list and why? Item sounds like something Japan. you can buy, but... Go to uh, Japan? I want to go to Japan, yeah. Because uh, I've consumed so much Japanese content, and they just seem like a capitalist haven, which is my dream as an American. Instead of McDonald's and Coca-Cola, it's anime booba and delicious food yep delicious food got it uh what's your least favorite part about streaming it's either too much clout or too much money because sometimes i don't know what <laughs> to do with fuck up <laughs> <laughs> The bar keeps increasing. It keeps getting harder. I always wanted to be the number one streamer, and now fucking Tommy in it pulls 400k, uh, fucking fixing his hair and, and looking at Minecraft pixels. So the bar uh, keeps raising, and Minecraft YouTubers are legitimately undefeatable monoliths yeah. of culture yeah. that I can never best. Well, I would. I don't know about never. One day Minecraft will die. When that day comes, Pogo stuff will be around. Do you have any plans regarding your future with Melee? I was a pro once, and much like Sebastian, Seb, as some might know him in Dota. I hate, dude, stop, stop. I'm stopping the music. You piece of shit. You watch one what? fucking documentary about Dota, and it's all you talk about, and it's all you care about, and you're gonna play with Jerax. I've been playing since fucking 2005. That game has shaped who I am as a human being. And now it's all fucking about Seb. It's about OG. And it's fuck. I'm, I'm being- OG I, I'm being culture jacked! I didn't watch the documentary, because I only watch gameplay. Wow, not even an OG fan, bro. I watched it live! Uh, this is a good one. Did you ever expect to blow up this big as a Twitch streamer? And if you, did you ever have an alternative route if streaming never worked out? Uh, no, I didn't have an alternative route. I just did streaming and hoped it worked. I figured I'd make it to a minimum 20k viewers. Really? Uh, you were that confident? I thought I could make it as a streamer, yeah. I didn't think it'd take me two years. I thought it'd take me, like, at least fucking five. 
I didn't know that. I think when you watch Twitch streams, you see the skills the streamers have, and I didn't think any of them were unique enough that I wasn't capable of doing them. All right. Uh, this is a great one. If you had to open mouth kiss a celebrity, who would it be? Male celebrity. Fine. Sorry. Male celebrity. I'm thinking really hard about this. Are they consenting to this too, right? They're a hu they are so into you. I wouldn't mind an open mouth kiss with former president Bill Clinton. Why? Just think of the presidents. He's probably the most experienced. He's so old, it'd be like a bar of sand in your mouth. <laughs> okay. All right. Great answer. Uh, what's your favorite YouTube video that you made? I have a few. I really like, and one that I think is a better characterization of my channel than most videos, that it might be higher effort, Super Mario Battle Royale video. I think music-wise, gameplay-wise, hype that video is pretty sick making money by donating to streamers i think is my coolest concept and then any of the how i accidentally whether it's me being the biggest chess streamer or winning the pokemon tournament or eating like pogo stuff it's like it comes on and it's like fucking it's like an hbo movie like i'll just stay watching <laughs> all right uh, hey Ludwig, how did you and your roommates meet? I've always been curious. I actually covered this in depth uh, earlier on, so you can go back in the VOD. Uh, but I'll uh, I'll just ask who's your favorite roommate. Uh, be more specific. Like who's your favorite roommate that you live with right now in the house? Be more specific about what do you mean by favorite? Favorite like, to hang out with, favorite roommate, like uh, how are they roommate wise? Just overall. Who would you wish to continue living if the rest could not? Cutie's cutie counts in this. Cutie counts? Yeah. I'll pick cutie over you guys. That's the easiest answer. Okay. <laughs> Got it. You wrote it down, right? I wrote it down and I posted it and roasted it. Insane that you would say that to me. Uh, I got a couple more. I'm just going to pick some good ones. We're getting toward the bottom of the thread. Favorite anime? Promise Neverland, season one. Boom. Someone already answered it for you. I'm just upvoting it. Or Silver Spoon. Uh, this yeah. is a good one. Uh, actually, I'm going to hit two. I'm going to hit two. If you could collab with any creator that you haven't before, who would it be? Follow-up question. Why haven't you shot your shots? Great question. Why haven't I shot my shot? Yeah, if you, like, you know, it's a follow-up question. Oh, oh, okay. I thought, you, I thought he meant with, like, the guy writing it. <laughs> uh, I, in, the, in the wise words of CDN the third, if I do a collab, I want it to be natural and organic. Which is why, even if I really respect and admire a creator, I wouldn't shoot my shot unless it made sense. Okay, but who is it, right? The, the first question was, if you could collab with any creator you haven't before, who would it be? I'm saying, like, literally no one is coming to mind at the moment, but I, 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 I can think on it for a moment. Because, like, some are also, like, like, you wouldn't think of them. Like, for example, when I did a collab with Magnus Carlsen, if someone asked me this question before, then I wouldn't say Magnus Carlsen. But now I would, you know what I mean? Like, if I had it. Right. Because, you know, like, that, that was crazy. That was sick. But I just wouldn't have thought that that's, like, a thing I could do. You know? Well, like, it's, don't do it. I guess it's more like... Okay, so take the second part out of it. What's what's the dream? You know, if you could have it, have it happen in an organic way. Yeah. Don't say Maybe Bill Clinton. Tom Brady. <laughs> what would you guys do? Me and Tom? Yeah. What do you think? What would you... Let's say you have a pitch to Tom Brady. He's hearing you out, and he wants to stream with you. What do you say you guys can do together? Fuck, man. Like... Guys being dudes, you know what I mean. At the end of the day, is what it, it's. I, that's what it is. Guys like to dudes. be a guy, being a dude with him. <laughs> I would do. A, I would do a cooking stream. Okay. We'd make like high protein vegan football pizza. <laughs> oh, Gordon Ramsay. Hundred percent. Okay. If I could get Gordo. Do a cooking stream with Gordo. Sheesh. Uh, and last one. 
if you knew that you were going to become one of the biggest Twitch streamers when you first started streaming, is there anything you would have done differently? No. Literally nothing. I literally would have enough changed a thing. Insane. <laughs> Alright. That's it. Well, I guess I will see you in about 22 hours. Keep it... See you in about 22 hours. Keep it chill. Keep it trill. And uh, yeah. be safe. Yeah. Alright. You enjoy the stream, man. Live it. Just let me play with Jerax, man. Live it up. Do you hear what I said? Love it, love it up. What love does it, that mean? Don't love it. Love it, don't live it. It's all about the game. The game is about the game at the end of the day. Yeah. Oof, I gotta go. Traffic. Okay. All right. Bye. Peace. He said he was pulling over. There's no traffic. What an asshole. <laughs>